Now to a warning from our ABC 15 investigators about the hot new app for kids. It's called Snapchat, and it allows them to share photos and videos just for a few brief moments. No record of those pictures um, is supposed to exist in cyberspace, but ABC 15 Dave Biscabing is showing you how child predators are already one step ahead of this game. Anytime you can only show an image for two seconds to ten seconds, you have to wonder why if you're going to show it at all. But that's exactly what Snapchat is about, sending images that disappear. It's a popular app popping up here in the valley and across the country. Obviously, you're letting strangers who you don't know have access to those pictures, and oftentimes those strangers are what we call predators in law enforcement and the kids call creepers. Mike Harris is a detective in the Denver area. He does assemblies to educate students, and Harris says more than half admit to communicating online with people they don't know. And we're getting complaints that adults are sending inappropriate uh, pictures to kids and asking kids to send their inappropriate pictures. Since its debut, Snapchat's been called the photo app that's made for sexting, an app that lets the user continue to sext without getting blackmailed since the photos are deleted in a matter of seconds. 50 million snaps are shared every day. We've seen uh, adult genitalia. We've seen naked uh, females, and they're just popping up. The app icon is a ghost, as in, now you see it, now you don't. And it's easy to find users who get images they don't want to see. It's also easy to do. Just take a picture of yourself, called a selfie, then select how long you'd like someone to see it. Anywhere from 2 to 10 seconds. Genius. It's like a creeper's dream, pretty much. And it's not just on smartphones. Snapchat works on tablets, MP3s, and other electronic devices. It's really enticing kids to come out of their shell, maybe. Maybe sending them things that they would never even think of doing in person or posting on Instagram or Facebook. Savvy teens know they should only communicate with people they know. Hey, I just liked your <laughs> post. She but they admit the lure of getting likes and getting friends online. Whoa. I just can, play Minecraft. can make even the smartest kids bend the rules. Even if it's someone you don't know, you want to have a ton of people follow you, so you just let them follow you. And that's what has law enforcement so concerned. And we're behind the curve learning it where these kids are making mistakes, but also where predators are using these apps and sites to go after our kids. I'm investigator Dave Biscobay, ABC 15 News. So a caution to Snapchatters, the person you send the picture to can save it forever by taking a screenshot of it before it disappears. Now, Snapshot notifies you if they do do that, but by then it's already too late. We did have questions for the app's creators, but they didn't respond to our request.